Hey, what's up everyone? We're at Greenwell Farms. We're going to take a free tour uh, around the farm. Greenwell Farms is located in Keala Kekua, which is about 20 or so miles south of the airport. So we're parked in this lot. Okay, there's a sign there, farm tour. So we're going to go right up here. And here's the sign up. So you check in there. There's a gift shop. There's this area you, you can taste coffee, the coffee they have out for free. And they also sell them by the bags. You can get them in grounds or whole bean. And they have them out on display. So you can purchase uh, any of these flavors that they have. And these are 100% Kona coffee, which is why the price is a little high. But they also sell butters and sea salt. So this is the geisha, which comes from Greenwell Farms. It was the 2023 cupping finalist. This is from Kopiko Farms. They won the statewide cupping competition in 2023, first place. And this is the trophy for Greenwell Farms, third place, the statewide cupping competition. So they also sell these earrings and bracelets and they have like the coffee bean on the bracelets that that was kind of neat chocolates and magnet tart and also black peppercorns from greenwell farms now i'm in my tour group and the guide is saying that oranges were the first crop that the greenwell started so listen to the rest of the history Those of course people who were traveling to Hawaii back in the 1800s. Well, they had to come by ship and it's going to be a long journey to get here. They need to stock up on their supplies and they want some vitamin C so they don't get scurvy. So there was a high demand for oranges back then. And he also ran a general store. If you drive up the driveway and go past the green and white building, look to your right, you see the signs that say Kona Historical Society. That used to be Henry Greenwell's general store. But the Greenwell family turned it over to the historical folks and they just preserve it like they store from back in that time period. So it's kind of cute in there. Anyway, coffee does not originate in Hawaii. Does anyone know where it was first discovered? Is it Indonesia? Indonesia? Good guess. It's actually Ethiopia. You're not filming me, are you? So I had to stop filming her at that point because she said it was a no-no. So I just started filming everything else. So this is a coffee tree and you can see the berries on it. They call it cherries because it turns red and it looks like cherries. So they call it cherries. And then so we further walk down and this is an old mill that they used to use a long time ago. Um, Greenwell, Mr. Greenwell came in 1850 from England and he wanted to make a, a new life in Hawaii. So he got, uh, landed in Kona and started his farm. And this is the area that the uh, pickers bring the cherries to. And those are two platforms where you, they dry the cherries out. So you can see there's a small batch right there drying in the sun. But if it rains, what they do is they roll the rooftop over the platform so it, the berries, the cherries don't get wet. It's kind of ingenious. And these are the dryers. So after they've dried on the rooftop in open air, then they come down to these dryers and the dryers rotate. And so it has to be like a certain temperature, um, a certain length of time that they do this. So here are more coffee trees and you can see there's a lot more cherries on there. Here's another area of the farm where they're growing peppercorn trees. There aren't any peppercorns on this tree yet, but when they do, they'll harvest them and dry them and sell them. 
they have a nursery with more coffee trees growing. So they grow more than just coffee here. There's banana trees there. There was oranges. And I wanted to show you what the peppercorn looks like. This is what it looks like green. And then this is the peppercorn that they're selling in their shop. We would recommend this tour. It's free and informative. Just got to look online or call to see what time the tours are. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and aloha.